Bonjour, Anine. Welcome to my channel, Sarah Sierra Tarot. I am Sarah, and this reading is for December 2023 for the sun sign of Sagittarius. Um, this reading is also if you're moon or rising sign or venus is in saggy i have many signs in saggy i have my sun moon neptune and mercury in sagittarius cross watchers you are also welcome here if you don't know what a cross watcher is it's somebody who is watching to see how something is going on with a sagittarius so that would be you a cross watcher. <laughs> a cross watcher. Okay, we're going to light some sage. Clear out any negative energies that may be present. Oh no. Spirits, ancestors, and guides, please guide me for my highest good. Help me to bring forth a message that is needed for the collective to hear today for the sun sign of Sagittarius. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Some simple stain will keep me free. And at this hour, my helper be. I'm also lighting some cedar. Cedars smells so good. So Sagittarius, I wanted to show these cards I just ordered from this Etsy shop. It's called a Wish Divine but on Etsy. Anyways, the lady said she already opened the card deck and then did I still want the cards? And I was like, well, yeah. And so she sent the cards all nice and wrapped up and look at this little pouch she has out front and inside the little pouch, it has an extra present, a gemstone. And here's the other one. I thought these were just so cute, that idea of having a little pocket in there for the gemstone. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to wait a while to open those up because I just think they're so cute. Okay. Sagittarius. I'm going to first take some... Um, Oracle cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. I love her decks. Spirits, ancestors, and guides, what do we need to know for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of December? The first card we get is a leg up. This card generally means you might need to be helping somebody that's younger than you. Ooh, and then you get this card, not for you. See how there's a chessboard there? There's a hand underneath trying to balance out the chessboard, see who, who's going to make the next play. Then it's got a fortune cookie in the center. Somebody watching through the window, trying to see what's going on. This isn't for you. There's some kind of strategizing going on, but it, that's not for you. You are meant to help somebody, but playing these st strategic games, that's not for you. Oh, and then you get a fork in the road. Looks like you have to make a decision on what direction you're going to take. And underneath, you have this question of why. 
See how there's that book there and there's some angel wings back there? This is asking you, what is your why? Why do you do the things you do? Why are you doing something that you're doing? That's for you to decide. What is your why? And that might help you with your fork in the road. What exactly is your why? Okay. To start off with, I am going to use the Tar Light Seers Tarot deck. Get three cards for you, Sagittarius. And three cards for the situation you might be dealing with for the month of December. And then the outcome. Sagittarius. It's getting dark out. It's getting pretty dark out. All right. First card we get is the Five of Wands, which is looks like there's some people that are fighting there with their sticks. There's a fire going on up there. One person's reaching up towards that fire. They got a fiery thing coming out of their hands. Everybody's scrabbling to get to the top. But there's a there's some fighting going on. That's your energy. You're a fire sign, so I don't know if you're spreading your fire around. And then we have here the Six of Swords, which is a woman moving on her boat. Her thoughts are pulling her boat along. but She's moving on to calmer waters away from this fight. Sagittarius, you don't want to deal with this fight. There's some fight going on and you're just deciding, nope, not doing it. The next card we get here is the Knight of Pentacles. This is a slow moving night, but you know what the path is that's going to lead you towards getting some type of money. It's been slow going, but you're on your way there. You were in this fight energy, but you've decided to move on to calmer waters. And you're leading the way for others and you're showing them how to make these pentacles. You got a pentacle on your back, your horse behind you, and you're dropping the pentacles on the way. <laughs> it's been slow going. You don't even have any shoes on. What's going on, Sag? You know, where's your shoes at? You've just gotten so chill, you're just like, Rolled up your pants, legs, just moving along really slow, making the pentacles. Okay. The situation you're dealing with, you got the eight of wands, which is about communication. Sad, are you communicating something? What are you communicating? What's this communication about? King of Cups. Looks like you might be dealing with your... This is either um, you're communicating about your feelings or maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio. You're in your feelings all zen. There's that ship back there. He's got a singing bowl. I think the person you're dealing with is um, Scorpio, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. King of Cups is that, ooh, and somebody from, it's somebody from your childhood. Childhood nostalgia. Yeah. Okay, the outcome, you get the lovers. Wow. 
And the King of Wands. Look at that. You have a marriage. Four of Wands. Wow, look at that outcome. Looks like um, there's some type of marriage that's going to happen. You got a lover here. Could be, this could be you, a fire sign. Marrying up with somebody, and it could be this King of Cups character. Somebody from your childhood. And I think they're communicating with you. Hmm. Underneath, you have this card, Eight of Cups, which is about walking away from something. You're walking away towards the sunset and leaving that bowl behind. You're choosing yourself. You, you're taking and walking away from something. You've decided something was not for you. You're at this fork in the road. And the outcome is, is you got some choice on, I don't know if this is necessarily a lover, but you got some kind of choice because the lovers is about a choice. And you're in your um, power there, Saggy. This is you being a king of wands. Wands are a Sagittarius sign. And you're looking, you got some choice at who you can make a partnership with, but you're walking away from something that is a bunch of mind games. You don't want anything to do with that. Okay. Let us see what kind of blocks Sagittarius is having. And then blocks are there. What kind of blocks are we having for Sagittarius? The hangman. And death. I think you're blocked from some type of rebirth going on here, some type of change. You're blocked from seeing things from a different perspective. This change that has a that is going on right here. Yeah. You're blocked from releasing and letting go of the and surrendering surrendering to this change. You got some blocks going on with that. What advice can we give to Saggy to release and let go and allow this change to happen? What advice can we give you, Saggy? King of Wands, step into your power. You've got the King of Wands twice. Get your roar out there. Grab your staff. Step on your throne. That's what you need to do, Saggy. Ooh, your ships are coming in. You got some big money coming in. You've been doing something and your ships are coming in. You're ready to... Get on your throne. What, about, what else can we give advice to Sagittarius for? The Hermit. This is about you looking deep within, shining and pulling out that light that you have in the world. Your why. Remember you're underneath to begin with, you add your why. Why are you doing something? You need to look deep within and get on your throne about what you want to do in this world because your ships are coming in. 
Okay, what else does Spirit want Sagittarius to know? Page of Cups. High Priestess. And the Queen of Cups. Hmm. And underneath, the Five of Ones again. You're walking away from some fight. And maybe there's a young water sign that's bringing forth a little cup of love for you. And you need to use your intuition about it. And... Take that cup of love, your feelings. This is about being the Queen of Cups mast, is a master of her feelings. And, and maybe somebody's coming along and Spirit wants you to know when that person comes along and gives you a little cup of love, use your intuition about it. Because they might be offering you a little cup of love. But what about that cup of love you already have? I mean, you're sitting on a throne and you already have this big cup of love. Saggy. It looks like you're staying out of the fight though. You're walking away from whatever fight's going on. It's kind of a recap. Remember, there's some fight going on. You're moving on to calmer waters because you want to make some money. Situation you're dealing with could be some communication from some Scorpio. Somebody from your, that's a childhood friend. And the outcome is you need to make a choice and step into leadership and decide who's going to be who's going to be your marriage partner or your business partner. The blocks you're dealing with is you're having a hard time seeing things from a different perspective about this rebirth that needs to happen, but you need to release and let go of something. Because you have some inner wisdom and you need to be a leader about these ships that you have coming in. And shine the light for others. And when somebody comes along and offers you an apology or a little cup of love, use your intuition. Because you're in your feelings. I know you're in your feelings, but you need to use your intuition about this. Okay. I actually want to find out more about this Queen of Cups here. More about what Spirit wants us to know. Page of Swords and Judgment. Dun, dun, dun. Somebody's been spying. Spying's been going on over the internet and judgment is all about the past, present, and future. Will the same thing happen over and over again? And there's Archangel Michael up there sounding the horn. And those people, there's there's something getting resurrected from the dead. Remember you had this death card up here? Something about a rebirth going on. You need to pay attention over the internet. Underneath the deck, you got a creative project or cooperation. It looks like you're walking away from this fighting and moving on to calmer waters where you can cooperate with people. Okay, that's it for the month of December. I hope that was helpful. 
if you'd like a private reading with me, the descript there's a link to Soulful Revolution TV and it's in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, my peep. See you later.